looking at the duper head-to-head, -head, gives an 87% win probability to Salome Tavidze. Of course, Tavidze, talk about Genie's uh, professional tennis career. Tavidze with a uh, former uh, pro tennis player out of the country of Georgia uh, as well. So certainly bringing her singles prowess to pickleball, one of the top singles players in the women's game. She has four titles so far uh, in 2024, or excuse me, four singles medals so far in 2024, including a title in Minnesota back in March. And Greg, she's the only player to have beaten Annalie Waters in singles this year. So quite the resume, big challenge here for Jeannie Bouchard. Off the line on the backhand. Yeah. I think we're going to see a lot of extended rallies like that. Mm -hmm. Both players really, really nice drives. One, zero. One, zero. Yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing too many cat and mouse points One. right out of these two. Mostly sit on the baseline waiting for a, a short ball to come into the net, but. Zero. Zero. One. second you say that we see Bouchard yeah. make her way up to the kitchen but just passing shots I mean just so great from from Davidze I'd say she's got some of the best uh, just pure uh, ball striking ability yeah uh, on on tour just so solid from, from every part of the court and it is interesting at the top of your screen you'll see Davidze she's kind of walking into her serve giving herself some Two, more forward momentum I haven't really seen that a ton from her recently. Could be something new she's doing. Point. But it certainly works. I like I mean, that. that was a heck of a serve. Yeah. Like Happy Gilmore <laughs> sort of situation. <laughs> a little bit, right? Yeah. Three, one. She stands way Three, far back. And it's like a whole three-step routine, it looks like. Point. Almost there. Quick 4-1 advantage here for the five seed. Any other eight. updates here, Will? Any any singles? Interesting Three singles. Four, one. Well, we've got on a Humana Championship court on Pickleball TV, Catherine Parento playing Zoe Wong. That one just started the last time they played uh, in Las Vegas. Wong won that one. So Parento looking for some revenge. Point. We had... And Lee Waters advancing in two games over Ava Ignatowicz. Mm. And Lee Waters and Paris Todd, a quarterfinal matchup. That was a final in Atlanta. That one will be fun tomorrow. Five, one. Point. Timeout receiver. And we will again. Six, one. Winner of this match to face Brooke Buckner. Out. That one stays in, I believe, yeah. for Bouchard. Great shot. A lot of topspin on that forehand. Looking to cut into this lead. 2-6. Two, 2-6. Six. Two, six. That one close. I think it was a good call. I think it was out. But definitely close. It's blocked by the monitor. We can't all be 6 4 like Greg. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. And skinny singles. Yeah. Six, two. Yeah, I mean, it's 
really that serve a difference maker now for Tavite because it's giving her just such an easy third. It's basically just an approach shot yeah. that she's able to, to hit pretty easily. Bouchard with the nice cover. Yeah, I like the open court. I like her going into the kitchen when she can. I know it's somebody's got great passing shots also, but definitely got to pick your spots. But certainly picked the right moment to come in there. That is just such a pure backhand from Davide. We were talking about Paris Todd earlier, and her backhand a little bit more. Loopy gets more spin on hers, but Davide just, just a rocket flat, flatter backhand, equally as effective. Mm -hmm. Basically, a serve and volley from tennis. Yeah. That, that, that what you're seeing here. I mean, just that serve. So deep and so much on it. It's a little intimidating, I feel like. If you see someone like walking into their serve. Oh, for sure. I mean, she is, yeah. Point. No answer. From Jeannie here. Game point 10 2 for Davidze. saves one staying alive here in the first game definitely some work to do because you know when when Davide is serving like she is it makes every side out you get that much more valuable and that much more important. Oh, the good play though yeah from Bouchard not yes. bad construction just wasn't able to stick the volley on the full extension. Take two. Forehand eight. into the net. Going to close the door on game one. Salome Davide takes it 11 2. New ball. Game two. Tied in. Bottom of your screen. Zero zero. On top. Start off the game if you're Bouchard. Really nice depth getting to the run. Commentator's curse there, Will. Yeah. That's how it goes. It's okay. Zero, zero. And I guess it extends to two points now with the. Uh, Return, but it, you'll see on the bottom of your screen, Davide Serve, you'll have a clearer picture of what we were talking about earlier. Uh, if, if you're watching at home, you see Davide kind of starts far off the baseline, walks into it, gets a lot of forward momentum on that serve. What a beauty from Jamie nice. Bouchard. Dipping forehand. That's all I'm going to say. Just so I don't. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Davide just popping the ball. I know, I'm not sure what she's doing with this paddle, but I know I've talked to her about her paddle because they always sound, they just sound powerful. And she, I know she used to weight her paddles up to like 11 ounces. 11? Yeah, that's what I heard. 11? Yeah. Yeah. That is At least for singles. Right. I mean, that is some serious strength. Too. And yeah, and people, if people don't know, like, Paddles usually come in at like eight ounces, eight point five ounces. So to put that much weight into it, and then most people weigh their paddles, you know, put a little lead tape on it, get up to 
maybe nine ounces, something like that. Put it, put an ounce of weight, half an ounce, but she's putting three ounces, which is crazy. But it helps her get a lot of power. Great hustle, and then, oh, just. And I know Davide, I've, I've spoken with her. I know she's, one of the biggest things she's been working on has been her kitchen game mm -hmm. uh, in terms of singles being more aggressive, being able to put away some of those volleys. And able to stay alive at the kitchen during that one, 2-0. That's what that's what I heard. I'm trying to remember if she told me that or somebody else did. Um, so don't don't quote me for sure, but you right. could just tell from her she was using something. I forgot what she was using, but um, it just sounded like like something was wrong with the paddle. And then people told me like, oh no, it's just it's weighted like 11 ounces, so that's why it sounds like that. You can see the. I mean, I can see some weight on it right now. Right. I, I don't know if it's it's you know ten or eleven anymore, but because that yellow is pretty poppy by itself. But yeah, different different styles. Oh. And we'll see. You know, so we do see some lead tape on on the Vite's paddle, and sometimes you have players kind of put the weight in inside the grip. Mm -hmm. Noah Hayden Patrick one does that, I believe. And Johnny Andrews, Johnny Pickleball does that uh, as well. We'll talk with him about it. Jeannie Bouchard playing with her signature paddle, the Verse 6 Vector. Pink color. Finger up, out yeah. ball. It's definitely out. Here we go. Just to, to, to confirm. Didn't hear an audible call. I'm sorry. Once more, let me get it corrected. Thank you. See that one? I did not. See I didn't see it either. Kind of get hard to tell on the stream. Yeah. Two four. Ooh. A great get on the back. Of yeah. From Bouchard. It's a good pickup from Davide because honestly, she probably may have thought the port was over. It was going to go into the net all of a yeah. sudden. Yeah. In the game two, only trailing by two. 
Yeah, gotta give her a lot of credit. He wants to extend this to a third game. Gonna have to keep it close. Oh. And then that's right just way too good from the Beats. Wow. On the run, backhand. Moving side to side. Bouchard uh, does say her best win of the season came against Lauren Stratton. Yeah. North Carolina had a, had a big win there. So certainly has shown that the uh, capability of competing with some, some high-level high level pros and singles. Point. But the Pizza is certainly near the top of the sport in women's singles. Yeah, still, still hanging around. Five two here. I think she's played well this game. So cutting down on some of those errors we saw. Yeah. In game one. way up there but just unable to stick the volley yeah. and we, we've seen that's what we've seen a few times just not really able to stick the volleys throughout this match Five, two. Five, two. and overcooks that one does the beats it but missing a few long here yeah two, five. Still has a chance. Ooh. Point. You know, what a shot. Wow. Little drippy boom. Big top spin. Side drop hybrid. Yeah. Drippy. Very, very oh. impressive. Shard showing up to play here. Come on. Make Within it one here. Yeah. Game two. Four, five. Point. All tied up here after. Wow. Missed return from Davide. Maybe it. Surprise. No timeout here for Davide. Macy wanted to drop some other right, one here, but I probably would have taken that. Woo! On top of that one, and Gina Bouchard in the lead here, game two, is looking to force a decider against Salome Davidze. Just the defense staying in these rallies, Greg. She gets another really nice drop, drive, or whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. 7-5. Seven, 7-5. Five. Seven, five. Point. Another Point. error. Point. It's really just been a, a grindy performance from Bouchard. She's won a couple of points up the kitchen line, but a lot of them are coming from the baseline. Point. I mean, this is. Time out. Time in. I actually forgot about that too. There you go. Was that Desert Rich? That was. It was one of the errors, the two errors on the ones yeah, I forgot which right. ones. That's the point you want out of the timeout if you're shallow and defeats it. Just kind of dialing in, taking control. Still some work to do here. As she tries to close this one out in two games. Ooh. It stays in. Bouchard reads the cross court back in. And it's not like she has to do a ton with these volleys because Davide is already so off court. Right. So she's not necessarily hitting the mark, but she's just kind of getting a paddle on it. Five, 
Back a look at that one. We were almost looking at game point. Yeah, maybe just trying to do a little bit too much there. Still in control, 9-5. Taking a timeout if I was Genie. Just momentum's definitely changed here. Don't listen to me. Do the opposite of what Greg says. There we go. It, it works again. Do not listen to Greg. Listen to him. Just do. Don't do what he says. Right. Of course. Wow. Bouchard comes up with it. And like Davidze had that point, had Bouchard dead to rights. And that one, it just overpowered him from the baseline, made it up to the kitchen line. But on the run, the two handed backhand, the game point here for the 17 seed. Goodness. Oh. Davidze saying, hey, look, I can do that too. Wow. Backhand yeah. on the run, saving a game point. Guaranteed pickleball play every week. No hassle, no paddle stacking lines, no worries. Join a pickleball league today and up your game with competitive, consistent, well-matched play. Connect with your local leagues, check live rankings on your phone, and play with ease. Whether you're there to socialize with your community, network across the net, or have fun playing your favorite sport, leagues are a stress-free way to enjoy your play. Find your closest league at pickleball.com and click leagues today to get started. Made a lot of mistakes, but I think Genie forced most of them, so you never know here. Miss hit there on the forehand. Players will switch sides here. It's six, something to keep in mind. Zero, zero. Not, not that there's too much wind out here. Ooh. The angle from Bouchard, that shot, that kind of defensive two-handed backhand has really been dialed in for her. Yeah, she hit that a couple times. Go, go. Really impressive. Point. Bouchard on the board first here in this deciding game. One, zero. Point. That's really what we're seeing. 
shard is just making Tabitze make more bots. Yeah. And she's making her be the aggressor, right? For the most part. Ooh! Yeah, nice touch from Bouchard. I mean... Getting fortunate with the... Uh, yeah. But 3 0 nonetheless. 3 0. Nothing just too good there. Too much offense from Davidze. But what a just a perfect start for Genie. Showing it's not, it wasn't a fluke. Right? Yep. like that where you get the missed return, those, those unforced errors. Fortunate bounce there yeah. for Bouchard. Now Davide with a quick two points within one. Who did she beat before this? That was a walkover. Oh, okay. Her, uh, okay. Top of the gotcha. Oh, it's, it's, it's interesting because, you know, a lot of times we're seeing Davide go to the backhand volley of Bouchard, and she's, you know, had Bouchard is mostly making those volleys and winning points off those. We've seen more errors volley wise from Bouchard's forehand. Yeah. So it's inter I'd be interested to see if. With Bouchard's in the net, we see Davide trying to attack that side more. As that is yeah. great pickleball. Good volleys there. and Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I think Davide's got to obviously go more to the forehand volley when Genie's at the net, but also just missing shots that she just normally would miss, like these back, especially these like ground strokes long where Genie's not really putting that much pressure on her and she's. I think she's just going for a little bit too much. Like that. Like that ball. She's got Genie on the run, right? She's in control of the point. And then trying to hit a perfect forehand up the line there. Just get that ball in first, especially when you've missed, you know, eight of those already during this match. Like, just maybe bigger margins. You gotta think just with how many balls Bouchard is getting back, maybe feeling that pressure. Yeah, oh, for sure. To play with smaller margins. And a stalemate here at 2 4 with that team. Side outs go by with no points scored. And winner of this match onto the quarterfinals facing Brooke Buckner. 2 4! And we get a challenge of the out call from GD Bouchard. Point, referee timeout. We have a challenge of the Boys out call. Called out, so the we'll out get call another look at that one as the referee we will now proceed comes over to, to take review. a look at the monitor. Hmm. Just gonna kind of get a get the best look that we can.
That is confirmed. The out call does stand. Yeah, we talk about the 75-25 the rule where, you know, 75, at least 75% of the ball does have to be out for it to be out, but I think about 100% of that ball uh, was, was beyond the line. Another missed return. Tied up here, Greg. Four, four. Again, just DJ missing those easy balls. I feel like for her, easy. Four, four. I mean, fake, someone just said good fake here. Salome. I think someone just said that in the crowd, good fake Salome. Oh my god! Like making fun of her. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that, is. <laughs> that is funny. Five, four. It's a nice response though. Yeah. From Ibiza. Yesterday as well, we saw Dylan Frazier completely <laughs> frame that uh, frame that one overhead. Yes, doubles match. Remember that. Maybe it's something about grandstand. Yeah, I don't Maybe know. Maybe it's the pressure of you commentating. I think I think that's that's got to be it. I'm also standing up kind of weirdly right now, and you're sitting, and I feel kind of strange, but. I mean, I'm gonna stay sitting if, if that makes it. I mean, you're, you're free to sit. I don't know. I feel like standing right now. I don't know. It's just a I mean, this is a close mat. As you see, I'm standing kind of awkwardly <laughs> staring <laughs> at you. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, the commentator cam. <laughs> Tied at five, five here. Tight game three. Side out. Just on the run. Could not be any closer. That one goes wide. We are going to switch sides here. Pickleball icon and pro, of course, Greg Dow on the call. Thank you, Will. I can't believe what we're watching, to be honest with you. Lob. Not going to get it done from Davide. Bouchard just kind of got, in, got up to the kitchen line pretty easily there. Yeah. Just was, was the aggressor. 7-5. Yeah. And, uh, certainly not playing. I used to see her make so many errors on that back. Oh. Jeannie calling that one out. Let's see that one. We are going to get a challenge here from Davide. And we will definitely the out. And we will have the referee. The referee. The Come and check five. again, so we'll have that. So a critical point here in game three. Review. The challenge stands. The ball was out. Lost the challenge. Lost the 
ball confirmed to be out. Gigi Bouchard, 9-5 here, Greg. Wow. So we're looking for a ball, but we found it. Two points away here is the 17th seed. Time in. Nine five. Oh my back goodness. Point. Nice little half drive, and it is match point here for Jeannie Bouchard. Ten point. One time out, one time out. Ooh. That's Ooh. in. Almost on a full extension from Davidze. Absolutely clutch. Still some work to do here, though. Five, ten. Untimely, well, very timely if you're taking shard. Untimely net court for Davidze. Match point number two. Wow. Come out. Coming up to the kitchen line there. We haven't seen her do that a ton. Haven't hasn't had a ton of success doing that. But she's gonna have to. She cuts the lead to four. Six men. Point. Uh oh, Will. Never know, you never uh -oh. know. Uh oh. Said the same thing last time. Last I did. When she was up nine five. It's true. And I was wrong. Seven, ten. And that is just mm. way too Point. good from the VT three. Eight, ten. the first one I've seen from her this entire match. I think that's the, yeah, the, first, the first slice that we've yeah. seen. Comes at a huge time. Cuts the lead to 1-9-10. 9-10. Eight, ten. Oh! What a volley lunging. Forehand volley for Jeannie Bouchard. Could not come at a better time. And match point number three. Wow. Good night. Oh, no. That one long. We saw she missed a forehand in the net on an earlier match point. She misses another one long. Would be a huge win here for Gigi Bouchard. Nine, ten. Nine, With everybody getting a little tight. I think she closes it here. Match point number four. Ten, nine. Nine, 
Just Mario. staying alive. Salamander these days. Okay. Getting nervous. I, I, my, my heart is racing. Yeah. Craig. I mean, this is. Big point here for Salome. See if she goes big on the serve. She's had a lot of success. Yep. She does. Point. Wow, you see it. That, that's really what she was doing in game one, using that huge serve to get an attackable third shot. And she does just that. Tied up at 10. And what was it, 10? Five. Five, yeah. Game, man. 